All right, let's just do this in one take. I plan to write a script, but fuck it, the same is more energetic. I'm just a depressive, lonely comic artist who doesn't even know what he's doing, and all my mistakes are my own. Let's finish this. Let's read these comments. By Alzarath. Hey, I can relate. Oh, I made myself sad. Congratulations, that's what I do every single day. Why do you think I make these comics each and every single day? I just long for death. That's some terrible 12-year-old drawing by Anonymous. Yes, I am 12 years old. Listen to my deep voice and this masculine tone. The fact that right now I wish I was 12 years old so I don't have to deal with these fucking adult problems anymore. You're among friends, dear. Neat by Mechfrailica. Fucking hell. Mecha... I, I'm fucking neat. I am in education and employed. I'm studying animation and I have a job that pays for it. Well, I appreciate every single one of you. I'm quite frankly probably nothing like any of you. Everyone's unique and no one's special. I want to die. You are on the internet and the internet is forever. That makes it all the more terrifying for all the stuff I posted on DeviantArt. Honestly, that is just horrifying to think. <laughs> We should just end it already. I'm thinking about it every single day. What do you want from me? Be happy, you cunt. Be happy! There we go. Problems fixed. Join time. Time to scrap all the comics. I'm time to make some wholesomeness. Come on now. Let's completely shift the tone of my entire comic. Let's do that. You should be depressed. Your art sucks. You're half right. This fucked me up. More. Yes. Yes, it does. I have a feeling this guy is stalking me and drawing my life. Quite frankly, I do not take kind to claims of plagiarism. I just have a shitty life, and apparently it's very common. Nothing about me is special. I'm just another artist on the big stream of artists. Nothing, it's all hopeless. Nothing matters. Please don't leave us. I'd actually miss you. Leave us? I'm, as much as I think about it every single day, I'm not going to do it. Not until all of you support me with a Patreon. Look, there's a Patreon here. Support me right now. I need money to get out of my job as a retail worker. Honestly, fuck off. If you're depressed, get help. Don't go looking here for attention. And I'm trying to have a good day. You're trying to have a good day while looking at Funny Junkie. You're clearly not having a productive one. And if you don't like my comics, then, well, fuck. I don't know what to do. No matter what I do, if I was the nicest person ever in the world, people would still think I'm a, fu a fucking piece of shit. So can't please them all. Oh, well. Go and talk to some of these people here and make something good of your artistic skills instead of rolling around in self-loathing. Jesus Christ, hit it right on the nail. Is that not what he's doing? No, this comic strip is annoying in the way that it contributes nothing. He has such a cool style, yet it is wasted. How is this enjoyable? Sure, some people can relate to this. Heck, I even look like a guy in a film, but this helps no one anyway. For the record, I have never claimed that this comic can or will help anyone in every way. It's kind of like a personal diary for me. If something good happens, I'll write it down. If something bad happens, it's usually I will draw it to the most incredible detail. Even though these things are not really detailed. It started as a sketch thing. I don't know why I think this shit is great. I want to die. Have you asked anyone to listen to your problems? Why do you think I'm on the internet? This is the last resort. Clearly it doesn't work. Your art sucks. Stop posting. I wish I could filter out your junk, but I can't. In that case, you really shouldn't be subscribing to me. Wh what? You know, if people truly don't like the thing, they just don't, they just ignore the thing. Like, pretty much anything I know, I just ignore it. Just don't pay attention to it. Fuck. What if I told you there's actually a way out? Hurry up. They're waiting. You like some weak sauce anime shit, don't you? Fucking hell. What is this moe shit? What is this fucking cutesy shit? I fucking hate the cutesy shit. Give me something good looking. Get some JoJo's up in here. Get some JoJo's in here. Your art sucks. Your comics are the most mundane I've ever read. Please stop shitting up this site with your trash. Okay, this one's. You know, are you okay there? Cause it feel this feels kind of this feels like generic. I mean, like you used to bring out your aim game, Anon. Come on, you're dedicated to this shit. You fucking post to no, know. I don't know if it's the same person. I may I just do suck. Eh, that explains why I want to die so much. How does it feel being a comic artist on an obscure humor website that no one will find but the poor depressed souls that lie within? Hmm, that's actually an interesting question, quite frankly. I don't see how a view on YouTube is worth any more than a view on freaking funny junk. Cause fucking hell, I, don't, I know the people just as well. And freaking hell, it's 30,000 views. That's still, that's the most my comic has gotten. That's still fucking something that most people can claim. Don't listen to them, boy. Your art is good and love every issue of this series. Well, that's positive. I 
Uh, I belched in the middle of that. I ruined the whole thing. Come to the next. It's too close to home. Actually, it home directly on the front door. Knock, knock, delivery. It's depression. Well, that's relevant. Wow, I hit on the door, didn't I? It's, I'm knocking on the door. It's depression. What's that? Pizza delivery. Whole new kinds of pizza delivery. The topping is pineapple and depression. Well, that's my whole goddamn life. Would you look at that? Your whole life is a joke, isn't it? Because that's what these most of these comics are. Fucking jokes. I'm a pathetic piece of shit and I want to die. Why must you remind me of my miserable life? You know, you don't have to read these. You can just not. Also, the shoes, I really am good at relating to people. I have captured the soul of a depressed human being who wants nothing more than to just end his own miserable life but can't do it because he's too guilt-ridden.